We are going back to the moon. It all starts with NASA's Artemis 1 mission set to launch from Kennedy Space Center on Monday. While there won't be any astronauts on board this flight, the mission will also bring NASA one step closer to their goal of landing humans on the moon again by 2025. Fox's Rebecca Castor live in Cape Canaveral for us tonight. And Rebecca, how are things looking right now for the big day on Monday? Well, Jonathan, weather is going to play a big role, but NASA says conditions are currently 70% favorable for Monday's launch. It's going to kick off the next generation of space missions, but this time NASA doesn't want to just send astronauts to the moon, but also Mars. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We barely scratched the surface scientifically or from an exploration standpoint. I always think back to like, what, what if it had kept going, you know, from the uh, Apollo era? Where would we be? It's been over 50 years since we first landed on the moon, but this time we're not just leaving flags and footprints. You know, the plan is now to have a much more sustainable footprint on the moon and then ultimately use it as a stepping stone to Mars. This uncrewed flight to orbit the moon will test the spacecraft systems to make sure everything is in order before humans take the ride. While former NASA astronaut Doug Hurley has hung up his spacesuit, he hopes the Artemis program inspires the next generation. There are 40 some, maybe 50 counting the astronaut candidates, very capable folks that can fly these missions and a lot of them are friends of mine. I'm just happy to let that next generation of folks carry carry the torch. If all systems are go, Monday will be the first launch of the Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft, the most powerful rocket NASA has ever built. Cliff Lanham, who's in charge of getting the rocket ready for rollout, says. We've done wet dress rehearsal testing where we've gone through a good portion of this countdown and um, you know worked through those problems. So we're feeling good about getting into the uh, countdown and getting to launch on Monday. The mission will last about 42 days. The spacecraft will orbit the moon and then splash down in the Pacific Ocean. I'm just looking forward to when those solids light on Monday and uh, feel that pounding in the chest, you know, the roar of the engines and just uh, seeing it lift off because it's been a lot of people have put in a tremendous amount of work to get us here. This spacecraft is going to travel further than any space vehicle built for humans has gone before. Now you can see it in the distance behind me sitting on the launch pad, but Monday morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern is when we'll hopefully see it in action. From Kennedy Space Center, Rebecca Castor, Fox 26 News.